Welcome back everyone, and in this video I'm going to be pushing some ladder with Royal Giant. You know, I haven't really played Royal Giant in a pretty long time, not gonna lie to you guys. I've just been playing a lot of P.E.K.K.A. recently, <clears throat> but like, with that being said, um, I'm just playing some RG because, you know, I haven't posted it in a while, and I know you guys probably want to see some RG content. So, also I just want to say that like, you know, if you guys are new here, I'm going to leave a link in the description for you guys for my discord server if you guys want to join it and stuff like that so yeah also i'm pretty excited for like the new season that is going to be dropping pretty soon you know with like the void spell and everything like that it's definitely going to be pretty interesting and also the evolved wizard coming out i definitely want to like showcase some evolved wizard gameplay and void spell gameplay and maybe you know be able to put void spell or wizard in pekka or Royal Giants and whatnot. I think it's definitely going to be really cool. So um, just be on the lookout for that for sure. So yeah, with that being said, I'm up against P.E.K.K.A. right now. And when you're playing against P.E.K.K.A., specifically with this kind of variation, you gotta be like extremely, extremely patient um, because you don't have goblins to bail yourself out on defense. Um, obviously because they all play Zap for the most part, like P.E.K.K.A. decks. So yeah, you only have like units that don't distract a lot you only have single units for example like the ghost and the fisherman only the barbarian barrel they all get destroyed by pekka so you don't have goblins so with that being said you got to basically be extremely patient and abuse phoenix on defense like try to stack phoenixes as well like that's the only time you can really go in against the pekka deck is if you you know have a good elixir advantage and you have like phoenix counter push and whatnot like i went for an rg right there because i know he wouldn't have enough to play a pekka right there so that's why I'm doing that. And as you can tell, like I played a bomber pretty early because I wanted to make sure those troops went down so we couldn't get a counter push off of it. So yeah, that's my thought process on that. <clears throat> and yeah, so let's see here. Kind of just resetting. Okay, but he does go for a knight in the back. So I'm just going to go for a phoenix all the way in the back. You know, just be really patient yet again. See if I could get a pretty good defense going and convert it into offense. I'm going to go for a fisherman right in the middle. He's going to go for a ghost right there. I'm going to go for my barbarian barrel. I'm going to go for my evolved bomber right here. And that should be pretty good. Alright, he's going to go for arrows. I'm going to go for another phoenix yet again in the back. Trying to stack phoenixes. I'm going to go for royal ghost. Maybe to protect my fisherman a little bit. Okay, it goes down. Which is totally fine. I'm going to go for an RG. Because I do have a phoenix on the counter push. So if he does go for a P.E.K.K.A. like my phoenix. We'll do a good amount of DPS towards it. So we can't get a big counter push. I'm going to go for a bomber right here just to like DPS down the P.E.K.K.A. as quick as I can. He goes for arrows. He actually misses the arrows. Um, I'm going to go for my Electra Spirit. I'm going to go for my Royal Ghost. And yeah, so let's see here. I'm going to go for a Phoenix in the back yet again. Like I said earlier, just playing Phoenixes in the back being a nuisance pretty much by doing this kind of play. I'm going to go for an RG right here because I do have a Phoenix. <clears throat> and yeah, so let's see here. Alright, he goes for a P.E.K.K.A. again. Alright, he also goes for an Electro Wizard. I'm gonna go for my Evolved Bomber right here. I'm gonna go for my Royal Ghost plus my Electro Spirit. He goes for arrows, totally fine here. And I'm gonna go for a second Phoenix yet again, like I said, just stacking Phoenixes. Okay, this might be a little sketchy. I'm gonna go for a Barbarian Barrel plus a Bomber right here. I'm gonna go for a Royal Ghost. And uh, yeah, so let's see. I think I could just go for another RG. He goes for a defensive poison, which is totally fine, but I don't really see how he defends this, not gonna lie to you. I could just go for a fireball, and that should be towered down, so let's go for the next match. Here's the next match, and I'm just going to kick things off with a bomber in the back here. <clears throat> so yeah, let's see. I'm gonna go for a fisherman in the back. This could be a potentially like risky play and whatnot. Hopefully it doesn't screw me over, but yeah, I should be fine regardless. Okay, he goes for a giant. So yeah, that's not even that bad to be honest. Like if he was E-Giant, that would definitely be a lot more scarier, but a regular Giant is totally fine. I could just like DPS it down and get a pretty decent counter push here. So yeah, I wonder if like, okay, he's actually not going to pop the ability. Um, okay, he's got Barbarians. Also, yeah, I'm playing Fireball in this particular variation because there is a ton of like Barbarians in the meta. So that's why I'm playing Fireball because I've had Lightning. It'd definitely be a lot more trickier to break through, so... But whatever, like, you guys feel is better, Lightning. If you guys want to play Lightning, then go ahead. Uh, this push, by the way, should be really annoying for him. Okay, he has to go for Arrows, plus a little Prince, so... 
That is going to be an absolute ton of damage right there. The only thing I need to really worry about right here is, like, the counter push, but I should be fine. Like, realistically, I should be good to go. <clears throat> so, he goes for a giant. Pretty typical play. I could go for my Phoenix, because Phoenix is really good against the um, Little Prince. But he goes for a Snowball, totally fine. And that should be a pretty good defense. So, um, perfect, dude. Like, that actually worked out really nice. So, I'm just going to reset a little bit here. Um, maybe I can go for an E-Spirit just so I can see if I could just get the tower and whatnot. Maybe for some extra elixir. Okay, he does go for archers, which is pretty nice, so... I'm gonna go for a bomber in the back, just a cycle and whatnot. And, uh, you know, I'm vibing right now. Like, I'm honestly vibing. Like, um, I have a good damage lead. He goes for a bowler in the back. I'm gonna go for my Royal Ghost right here, just play some defense yet again. Um, honestly, Phoenix is super good in general. Like, I feel like this is probably one of the better you know, RG variations in the meta right now, because Phoenix really does get a lot of value against most of these decks, for example, like, if you're playing against the Golem matchup, like, it's pretty good against the E-Drags and stuff like that, so, um, and I know that, like, you know, Golem Pump is super popular at the moment, but even though I still feel like that's a bad matchup, it still helps out, and maybe you can, like, potentially outplay them, <clears throat> so yeah, I'm gonna go for a Fisherman right here as well, and, wow, he's Graveyard? Okay, I was not expecting that. Um, that's a little sketchy, dude. I'm not gonna lie to you. He's gonna go for arrows. Um, let's see here. Oh gosh, I don't think that matters though, right? Okay, I could just go for a fireball on top of the archers. That's a really nice win. That graveyard caught me by surprise, but it's totally fine. So let's go for the next game. Here is the next match, and um. Okay, he goes for Split Archers in the back, so uh, I'm pretty curious to see what deck this is. And yeah, so let's see here. Okay, he goes for a Dark Prince in the back. I could just go for my Phoenix, so Archers plus Dark Prince. Maybe another Giant deck, potentially. I'm not really too sure. Maybe a Graveyard deck, I don't really know. I'm going to go for my E-Spear just to make sure that Dark Prince doesn't do anything crazy. I'm going to go for my Bomber right here because I think it's a pretty good play in general. So yeah, alright, he goes for arrows too. Totally fine, I could just go for my Barbarian Barrel right here. And uh, yeah, so let's see. Okay, he's got bats as well, so like Dark Prince, bats, archers, and stuff like that. Not really exactly sure, honestly. <clears throat> I'm gonna go for my Royal Giants in the back. I think it's a pretty good play. Um, and yeah, so let's see here. Wow, he's got a Goblin Giant. <laughs> okay, um, alright. Honestly, that kind of makes sense, though, I'm not going to lie to you. Like, if he was either regular giant or goblin giant. um, Okay, that's a little annoying. I'm going to go for my fisherman right here. I'm going to go for my evolve bomber. Ooh, okay. I'm going to go for my electric spirit. I'm going to go for my royal ghost. Alright, he's going for bats because he just knows that I played my e-spirit, so... My bomber does get a shot right there on the right-hand lane. How does that prince even get a shot? What? That was pretty crazy, I'm not going to lie to you. Um, yeah, I wasn't expecting that. Pretty unfortunate, but, you know, not the end of the world, honestly, so... Yeah, kind of just resetting a little bit here. This matchup doesn't seem too bad, um, because Fisherman can get a lot of value, Bomber gets a lot of value. Um, the only issue may be, like, the evil bats, but that's about it. Okay, really interesting Goblin Gang, I don't really... Okay, this guy's not really playing well, <laughs> so, uh, he's, like, throwing everything at the bridge. Um, so, yeah. Okay, there's his evil bat, so I'm just going to go for a fireball. I feel like I have to fireball that, even though it's, like, a knight 2 trade. Um, I gotta get my damage, right? Like, I feel like I gotta get my damage. So, my RG is actually getting a ton of damage, which is pretty nice for me. He goes for a Dark Prince in the bag. I'm gonna go for my E-Spirit, set up another defense. And, yeah. Oh wow, he tried to predict my bomber by playing those arrows right there. That's pretty uh, crazy, I'm not going to lie to you. I'm going to go for my RG right here. Um, I'm going to go for my Evolve Bomber. I'm going to go for my Fisherman just to pull that Prince away. I do get one shot. That's a pretty nice Dark Prince, not going to lie to you. Kind of wasn't expecting that. I'm going to go for my Royal Ghost right here just to DPS down those Archers. I'm going to go for my Electric Spirit, play another Evo RG. Kind of just like have him on the ropes, I guess. Um, I'll go for my Bomber... I'm going to go for my Phoenix, and that should be a lot of damage regardless. I'm going to go for a really nice well-timed Barbarian Barrel. 
Perfect, dude. That's super nice. Okay, really bad Goblin Gang on his end, too. I don't really know what he's doing. But it helps me out. I'm going to play an RG at 6 Elixir. And I got my Fisherman on hand just in case he wants to play like another like Prince. Just like that, like a Dark Prince. Just basically take it off the board. And um, that should basically be game. So I could just go for a Fireball for you. Really well played, to be honest. And yeah, that's going to go ahead and be the end of this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll do more next time.